Oh, well, what is going on, guys? Just got done with my workout, and that was pretty mid. I'm not gonna lie. I could have pushed myself a little bit more, but I got caught up on my physique. I did a couple of reps. I felt pumped. I felt great. So I started taking pictures. I started taking videos, and I kind of got caught up in that. And then I jumped back into it, and I was like, okay, this sucks. Like it's not fun. Like when I was at the start, just you know, zoned in and focused. I kind of like broke that focus to do some boasting and like showing off type shit, which kind of like fucked up the mood. I'm not gonna lie, but but yeah, that's every step of the way. Like I don't want to be too dramatic, but you can always get caught up in things. Now obviously mine, I'm just making it extremely extreme, but like at the very start, you know, you're gonna have all of these bad habits that can consume you and bring you or drag you back to the place that you are trying to escape from. Like there's so many things in this world that are designed to distract you. Whether it be Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Like these companies have dumped in hundreds of millions of dollars so they can steal your focus, so they can steal your attention. And they're good at it, obviously. That's why they're so popular. And it's not only that, you got TV, you got video games, you got virtual reality, you got all this shit coming out, you got clubs, you got women, like, the temptation and the distractions are everywhere. It's literally just a war on your mind. The system is designed to steal your focus and your attention. And why is that? So you can become dependent on the system. So you're just working some odd job and that's all you're doing for the rest of your fucking existence. But if you can truly break away from that and focus on yourself and focus on your purpose and taking actionable steps to the place that you want to go, that's where greatness happens. That's where you truly can build something for yourself when you can focus on your path without any diversions or distractions fucking up your path. And that's why it's important to be critical of your behaviors and your habits. And to be like over analytical of what the fuck you're doing and how you're spending your time. Because, you know, we have been conditioned and programmed with beliefs that don't serve us, with these god awful habits that make us fucking stagnant and still and not able to create the life we want. So we just depend on what's handed to us, the simplest thing. Because they have robbed us of our belief, all the bullshit that they have put on the fucking internet, all the fear plaguing, all the fucking bullshit articles, whatever it may be, I don't know what the fuck it is. But it's a system that was designed to take that fire and that desire out of your soul and you gotta detach and you gotta work on your habits. Because who you are in the future is depicted by the habits of today. If you wanna be great, if you wanna be excellent, just create some fucking excellent and some great habits. Weed out the negative ones, slowly take away the bad ones, and force yourself into uncomfortable situations. Live an uncomfortable experience, an uncomfortable life, because that's where greatness fucking lies. You know, going to the gym seven days a week, yeah, that sucks, it's not fun, but eventually, you know, you start to enjoy it. You enjoy the process, you enjoy the growth, but after a while, you can't just, you know, show up to the gym and do what you've always been doing. You gotta head towards the uncomfortability to level up. And that goes with everything in this life, whether it be YouTube, if I'm just making the same fucking videos over and over again, people are gonna get bored. They're not gonna wanna watch it. I have to go to that next level constantly, and it's uncomfortable. There's fear, there's insecurity, there's shitty beliefs that are holding me back from going to that next level. And it's up to you to grab your fucking nuts, become a man, and go to that next level. It's uncomfortable, but that's where you gotta head. If you want to be great, if you want to achieve the life that you desire or you dream, you got to head towards uncomfortability and that's the place you got to fucking live. Like in the gym, eventually my growth is going to cap and I have to push myself even harder. I have to take on workouts that are a little more intense and it fucking sucks. It's grueling to put yourself in that place. But that's where the magic is, that's where the growth is, that's where the greatness lies. Guaranteed anybody at the top, rappers, Olympians, Whatever the fuck businessmen, they've all sacrificed tremendous amounts of time, energy, and whatever else so they could reach that place. But I'm just saying, make incremental improvements in your life. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. That's gonna fucking ruin your experience. I don't care what level you're at. Like, I do that sometimes as well. And I'm like, wow, I'm a loser. Like, I ain't doing shit. Like, I can compare myself to whatever famous actor or whatever famous successful person in this world or just successful businessman who is 23 or 21 or 20 or 19 and was already a millionaire and I could be like fuck I'm a loser like it's all about perspective because Oprah Winfrey when the fuck did she start her career like she was probably very older like Stan Lee when he came up with his first magazine like a lot of these people were like 39 40 and for every individual we have our own time set in stone when it's gonna happen for us you can't rush things if you're not ready if you receive what you want you're gonna crumble and you're gonna fold because a lot of this shit you gotta be mentally strong you gotta bear a lot of responsibility there's a lot of weight to carry a lot of people think becoming successful is some fucking easy journey or it's something easy to attain or as soon as you get it life's cozy and it's great and it's grand and you can kick your feet up you're relaxing you're on a yacht but it's quite the opposite you gotta grind fucking all the time you gotta face your fears you gotta face the pressure 
You gotta face absolutely everything that you are scared of to get to that place. You gotta face the uncomfortable. It's easier to just be mediocre and fucking settle. I mean, for me to just be like, oh, I'm gonna pack this camera up, I'm not going to the gym today, I'm going back to my fucking place and I'm just gonna go to sleep, I'm not doing fucking nothing at all today. Like, that's fucking easier, obviously. But for me to come to the gym, grind, put in my time, pay my dues, whip out this camera, film some footage, to get what, like fucking 10 views and I gotta continuously do this? Like to do that or to just fucking relax? What's easier? Okay, there you go. A lot of people think, oh, becoming successful, like it's some fucking easy thing to attain. No, you gotta swim upstream. And if you have downhill habits, you're never gonna make it. But like I said, it's all about incremental improvements. Just weed out the bad habits. Don't be too hard on yourself. Take baby steps because we're all in different places. Don't fucking compare yourself to another person. Focus on yourself. Focus on what you feel inside. Inside of your heart, inside of your soul. Fucking follow that. Fuck everybody else. Fuck their opinion. Follow your truth. Don't try to replicate anything that anyone has ever done because it's not gonna work for you. Because that's not you. That's not for you. If you wanna jump on trends, if you wanna jump on what's hot, fuck it, do you. I don't care, but if you want fulfillment, and if you wanna be at peace with yourself, but at war with the world, then follow your truth. You wanna be at war with yourself and at peace with the world? Fucking fit in, put on a facade, don't be your fucking self. Settle for mediocrity. And that's why I have a problem with like the feminization of these men. Or not even that, but just like the programming and the conditioning that this system is dishing out to the future men that are coming up. Because greatness, fulfillment, and living a satisfying life is on the other side of the storm. You gotta face the adversity. You gotta face your fears. You have to get knocked down and pick yourself back up. And I, I don't care about the feminization, I'm just talking about making these men mentally fucking weak. Telling them everything's gotta be all peaches and cream. The world's gotta be sunshine and rainbows. Like that's the last thing you fucking wanna do. Because as soon as those people are hit with adversity, they're gonna fold, they're gonna crumble. It's honestly just control. They want weak men so they can control the population. Because if you have men who can face the storm, weather the storm, not give a fuck about somebody else's opinion, stand tall in their beliefs and their truth, get knocked down, rise up more than they were before, a little more hungrier, a little more ambitious, belief inside of their soul that they can do whatever the fuck they set their mind to, you don't want that. You don't. But that's the type of men you want. You want men who can get knocked down and rise up because that's what makes a man. When you can overcome adversity, challenges, that's where you get your fulfillment from. That's when you feel good because you're like, oh, I didn't know I could do that, but I did it and I feel good because we all have insecurities. We all have things that are dragging us back and when you can prove that fucking voice wrong and you can overcome that, jump the hurdle and keep going, that's feel, that's fulfillment, that feels good. But if you're always living in that insecurity and that weakness, like this system is trying to make these men and just this population do, if you're just constantly living in that level, in that place, you're gonna be miserable for the rest of your life. You have to fucking break free from that shit. You gotta face the adversity, you gotta face the fears, because on the other side of that storm, on the other side of that is the greatest version of you. And that's when you will truly be happy, not some fake happiness, like I have settled happiness, like life sucks, but I guess I got this, I guess we got family, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, no, don't have settled happiness. Fucking truly make yourself happy, and how do you do that? You prove yourself. Wrong. All that conditioning, all that programming that you ain't enough, that you can't do shit, that you ain't gonna make it. Prove that voice wrong. Keep showing up. Keep becoming more disciplined. Keep weeding out the bad habits. Trust me, giving your energy to the system or giving your energy to these cheap drills and these fucking easy temptations is not gonna bring you fulfillment. You're gonna have to pay for that eventually. Down the line in your future, you're gonna be a slave to a job. You're gonna be a slave to your mind. Your mind is gonna be beating you up because life dishes out tests and if you can't pass that, well, the next time it comes around, it's gonna be a little harder to pass that test until you have like fucking that test just stacked up to where it's like a mountain and it's like, it's too much for me. You gotta face that fucking test, man. Whatever that may be, it could be a fear. But trust me, keep showing up. Like, going to the gym seven days a week, I know it's hard. And it's like, why the fuck would I do that? Like, what do I gain from that? That's what I thought at the start. Like, I was closing my eyes, I was crying. I was like, holy fuck, man. Like, when I first got into here, I was a pussy. Like, I got in a car accident, broke my back. I was one of the lowest points in my life. I was just sitting in my bed, skinny as fuck all bruised and all cut up and I just, you know, the reason I got in that accident is because I wanted to end my existence. I had multiple experiences in my life when I was a little pussy. I was like, oh, I just want to end it, man. I'm like, fuck this shit. And that's what kind of caused the accident. I was just emotional on a day-to-day -day basis and I fucking crashed my whip and 
know, because I was angry, I was mad, I was really like focused on the roads and I fucking rolled it, broke my back. And that was May 19th, I actually fractured my back, so my T10 and my T11, there's a crack in it. I got x-rays, I got scans, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck about this stuff, it's like, I don't want to get another checkup. I just started going to the gym for some odd reason, they're like, okay, don't squat till this time. I did, and I just, you know, became like the strongest version of myself somehow, some way. The doctors were like, no, like, you can't do this, and I was just like, fuck it, like, I'm just gonna follow what I feel inside. I just became the strongest version of myself. I kept showing up, I kept showing up. You built confidence, and you keep going, it builds belief. And you just keep building, and you keep following that. And that's when you truly become the person you want to become. And that's what you need to do. It's important to keep showing up. Well, not every day is gonna be fucking sunshine and rainbows. Like, that's why I hate this system and how they promote, like, the world should be like that. Because as soon as you're faced with, like, you're at the gym, it sucks, and you got these negative thoughts, give up and get out of here. Like, no, you gotta face that fucking demon. It's gonna suck some days, and you're gonna have to fight it out, you're gonna have to bring that dog out of you. And if you don't have that, you're gonna give up. You need that fucking dog, and you just have to keep going, you have to keep fighting, and eventually you're just gonna be fucking extremely proud of yourself that you kept pushing, that you kept showing up. And after a while, going to the gym seven days a week is a breeze. What's next? That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking right now, what's next? Start making videos? Okay, what's next? Make fucking better videos. Like, you just keep progressing. That's what you want in life. That's what happens when you become more disciplined, you become more focused, and you take the harder path in life. Instead of getting that instant gratification, that dopamine, that satisfaction right now, with the regret and the fucking dread in the long term, instead of doing that, you can go the alternative route of, oh, this sucks right now, this isn't that great right now, like I'm tired, I'm drained, I'm in the gym, I'm making videos, I don't wanna do this, it's like 11 p.m., but it's gonna pay off. Whether it be views, whether it be just inside of my soul, feeling fulfilled, like, oh, I'm glad I did that. Like, oh, I'm like stepping into my purpose or I'm doing what I, what I feel like I should be doing. Whether it's successful or whatever the fuck may happen, I don't know, but it feels good. And that confidence and that feeling is priceless. But anyways, yeah, I'm at my local gym right now. It's empty. Like, even this video right here, I was like, oh, I don't want to make this, because what if somebody walks in? Like, you always have that fucking voice in the back of your head. You always have that fear. You just got to keep pushing, man. You got to keep fighting that voice. Be like, no, I'm doing this. Like, you have two split voices inside of you. You have the one that you should follow, like, wake up early, grind, put in the work, go to the gym, do this, do that. You have the one that you should follow, and then you have the one that has been conditioned, that has been programmed. I don't know where the fuck it came from. It could be the devil. I have no idea, but it's there. You got two paths. Just always make sure to follow and build a connection with that one that's a little more quiet. And once you lean in towards that direction, and you start feeding this one that's a little more quiet, it becomes louder, and it becomes louder, and it becomes louder. And then eventually, this voice, it's like, oh, well, he's not listening to this, so it's gonna fade away in the background. It's always gonna creep back up now and again to test you because life is filled with tests and adversity, and you gotta face the storm. I feel like it's better when you normalize the storm. When normalize the adversity like yeah we're gonna have those fucking moments let's prepare like that's gonna happen okay I understand that so when you're faced with it it's not like oh let's fucking back out because no you understand that on the other side of that adversity on the other side of that storm it's the next level that you've probably been praying for that you've probably been asking for so you gotta fucking scratch and climb and fucking dog your way out of that storm so you can become that new person so you can become the new version of yourself that you probably asked to become or whatever the fuck like that's how you transform that's how you evolve is through the storm through the struggle through the adversity and through the pain through the suffering whatever that's what creates champions you think a fucking olympian is having a grand fucking comfortable experience no i'm pretty sure their life is pretty fucking grueling waking up at whatever god knows what time training all day, pushing their limits to the extreme so they can become the greatest in the world. It takes a lot of sacrifice, but the more you give, the more you get. But also baby steps. Don't be looking at the end result saying, oh fuck, I got, like I'm missing out, I gotta do all this, like I'm not that person, I'll never become that person. Don't think that way. Baby steps, incremental baby steps. If you have never been to the gym before, don't fucking freak out. Don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Okay, you're just not gonna go to the gym for the rest of your fucking life till you're 90 years old looking back like, oh, I never did it. Or whatever the fuck, anything else that's positive in your life, or you're gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna start today, and I'm gonna slowly just start going. And like, if you don't show up one day, don't beat yourself up, but like, don't fucking back out because you're a pussy. Like, try. Just keep trying. Keep trying to push your life in that positive direction. That's the thing, like a lot of people don't see the bigger picture, they don't have that belief, they don't, they're like, why should I go to the gym? Like, what's the, what's the outcome? The outcome is confidence, the outcome is belief. 
The outcome is the greatest version of you. The outcome is fulfillment, drive, hunger. Like to each their own. I'm not saying you have to go to the gym, but like you have something that you enjoy. If you're doing, I don't know what the fuck you may be doing. If you're painting or whatever, like dedicate your time and your energy to that. If you want to make that fucking happen, dedicate your soul and your time and your energy. Like if you're working at a job and you're dedicating 12 hours, do that with your fucking craft. Why not? Or however much time you have. Like don't go to the club. You don't gotta go to a fucking restaurant with friends. You don't gotta go out and party. You don't gotta fucking, you know, dwell into a video game or fucking dwell into some distractions. Like, no, just hone in and focus on what you wanna do with your life. All the time that you have, all the free time, utilize that time. Dedicate yourself to your craft. But yeah, anyways, that's all I gotta say. See you guys in the next one.